It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Epic Brewing and it's a bottle of their Rio's Romping Rye Beer. The beer is coming in at 5.6% ABV. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'd like to thank our channel sponsors at this stage of the review, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Beers of Europe have the most amazing... Look at that smoke. Beers of Europe have the most amazing beer range cast in from Europe, America, Canada. If you've been away working, you want something a little bit special, best place to find the beer you were drinking whilst the way is beersofeurope.co.uk. So, on with the beer review. Beer in the glass. Lots of head on this beer four to five fingers of tan coloured head nice levels of carbonation moving up the beer it's an amber coloured ale that's slightly hazy amber stroke mahogany colour so we should, we, should we see if we can get the aroma through this tight head then Extremely fruity beer. You can get the rye, that spicy rye. But a massive hot presence in this beer. It's grapefruity, it's orangey, like an orange peel or a fleshy blood orange. And yet again, that spice from that rye smells fantastic. Should we dive in? Cheers. Yes, yeah, still very, very hoppy. Lots of rye, lots of malt, lots of bready, biscuity flavours on the back end. Nice warming, kind of licorice flavour in the mouthfeel. But it's very tart. It's very jammy, like a... Like a jam preserve, like a like a strawberry or a marmalade kind of orangey strawberry jam. It's very jammy in that sense, in that kind of syrupy sweetness, fruity sense. Carbonation does a great job of pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. But yeah, this beer. It, it seems to have a kind of a, an aged quality about it. It seems to have the, the malts and the, the, the hops and that lovely rye. It all seems to have kind of binded together as the beer has been brewed and, and sent over to the UK. So I'm not exact, exactly sure how old this beer is, but it, it seems to have... It's still very hoppy, but it seems to be a little bit more mature in the quality of the beer. There's a slight kind of white wine grape flavor in there. And I only seem to get that on a, on a kind of an aged beer. But it's added good quality to the beer. It's added a very nice roundness and flavor to the beer. Drinkability, we talked about the carbonation pushing that beer on the inside of the mouth, but the drinkability is really refreshing, it's really juicy, it's really kind of satisfying to drink. You get a little kick of alcohol as the beer hits the stomach. I've not had an epic beer for quite some time, to be honest. I had an epic beer. I think I had something like brainless on cherries or... I think I had the red ale, I think it was a red ale from Epic and it was really good, it was really tasty. Definitely bottle condition, you can see little bits and pieces floating around in the glass and as I've added more beer you can see there's a little bit more of a mahogany colour to it, a little bit more haze in there. I think I'm ready to give this bit a rating, I think it's really good, I think it's really good. Uh, Epic Brewing Company, Salt Lake City, Utah I think, UT. There we are then.
So check the beer out at beersofeurope.co.uk, rating for the beer. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from me, Low Craft Beer. Love the rye, love the malt, that biscuity malt, kind of bready flavour in there. Love the hops, that kind of lemony, orangey flavour in there. And as it, again, the carbonation and the mouthfeel is really good for a, a nice 5.6% ABV beer. 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, and cheers.